So the next team I'm going to take a look at is the Spark. Again, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt to say the city or town. I'm assuming it's a city in China. Um, okay, wow. So the Spark, very interesting color scheme. I am digging it. This is so. This is so different from what you would normally see uh, from any traditional sports team. And it's really cool that in eSports you can go with these kinds of color schemes because it's just a different platform and uh, th these kinds of colors are okay. Now, aside from the colors, however, although I'm really digging the pink and blue, I'm not really sure what's going on with the icon. We'll start there. Uh, it looks kind of like a like somebody pointing to the right, and there's kind of like this action shape coming off, you know, I guess em emulating a spark. Uh, it kind of reminds me of maybe like some sort of uh, cartoon, um, like, like cartoon signal of some sort of like something exciting happening, so I guess maybe that's where it's coming from, and it is a Chinese team, so uh, perhaps it's influenced by that. Uh, yeah, the icon, I don't know, I'm not really, it's nice, it, it's, I don't know. I'm not like totally getting spark from this. Uh, like I can see it because I know that this is the, supposed to be for the spark, but I don't know, I feel like, it could potentially be a little bit better. Uh, I don't know, and I guess there could also be like a, a backstory behind this, and I might not be, I might not be like let in on that backstory right now. Like maybe I have to do some research and figure out what exactly this icon is representing. So maybe that's it. But as it stands right now, I, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan. Uh, also, let's just quickly mention how when you put the city in the blue type here, it's super hard to read. Like, squint your eyes right now a little bit and look at the screen. You can't even read it. So, I don't know. I don't know if the, the blue is the best on top. It has to be something really bold. Uh, maybe the type spark should have been in the blue and the city in white instead. Uh, I'm not sure, I just know that the blue is very hard to read when it's small type like that. Now, the type for the logo. Uh, it's okay. I kind of see what they did here with the negative space between the S and the P. Kind of has, uh, it's, it's a very similar icon to the fist in, in the, uh, the larger icon, so I guess it's uh, nodding to that but the connection between the s and the p down here is kind of weird i don't know it's throwing off the balance for me because this m mark this area seems so heavy and there's like this huge negative space between the s and the p that i'm not really sure if the balance is there it's also very difficult to tell if the balance is there because of this thing behind the type. I'm not really sure why that's there. Uh, it's very, very odd to me. So I guess this is supposed to be some sort of like spark, but I'm wondering why that's not used in the icon above because when it's put behind the type like this, you lose that negative space between uh, the R and behind the A, uh, and between the R and the K. And I don't know, it just feels, it feels out of place. I'm not really quite sure why that's there. Uh, I'm really not a fan of that being behind the type. If you removed it, then it would definitely be much better, uh, even though I, you know, I'm still not a huge fan of what's going on with the S and the P, but I think removing that from behind the type would definitely uh, make this mark a little bit more readable because at a quick glance, it's, I don't know, 
like readability of type is also very dependent on the negative space between the, the letters. And with a different color all of a sudden behind some of the type, but not all of it, 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 it kind of messes up the negative space. So I don't know, I'm not, I'm not, I love the colors on this. The color palette's amazing, but everything together on this, it's definitely kind of weak for me. Um, and you know, I guess when you're producing a batch of eight new team logos, I mean, you, you know that like you expect them all to be like really top notch, but there's always going to be some that are just a little bit weaker than others. Um, so I don't know, I'm not super digging this. Uh, let's go check out the skins really quick. And okay, so you can see the you can see the uh, the kind of spark thing, the blue flame thing, whatever this is behind the type a little bit better here. And do you see what I mean? Like it just kind of throws you off. It's strange. Um, the skins themselves on the heroes look awesome. Uh, so that's really, really nice. I am just really not digging <laughs> the overall logo lockup. Um, yeah, not, not as good as the other ones, I would say for sure. And don't get me wrong, guys, uh, I'm not trying to, like, say that anybody who made this is bad or whatever. I'm just giving my opinion uh, on all of the logos. I don't want anybody to, you know, think that I'm trying to spew hate. Uh, I just want, you know, to give my honest opinion and to provide some constructive criticism as a fan and as a designer. Uh, so I think that that's perfectly okay. And that's kind of the point of the whole video today. So, um... And again, you know, I would love to know your guys' thoughts on all of these as I'm going through. Definitely let me know which ones you like, don't like. If you agree with me, you can to you can not agree with me. That's totally cool. Put it down in the comments. Let me know if you disagree with uh, my opinion of the Spark logo. I'd be really curious to see what you guys have to say as well. So let's move on. The next team is the Paris Eternal. So... Paris Eternal, okay. Now, right away, I guess I've been talking about colors uh, mostly first, so I'll start with that. The color palette, I like. I like the red and the yellow and this kind of bluish, dark gray color we got going on. Although, <laughs> I, even though I like the color palette, the icon in the logo uh, the red gets kind of blended with the gray background so I just think not showing this with the gray background is the way to go uh, they have it here on the website with the gray background I don't know how often it'll be used like that but I would say I don't know because if if you you don't even have to squint your eyes actually just look along the edges of the icon and you can it kind of looks fuzzy almost that's because the colors are very similar in uh, in their tones, and there's not enough contrast between them to like really define the icon. And it's kind of too bad because now, you know, aside from the negative of the color background, this icon is freaking awesome. It's a rooster, and I love how simple it is. Again so not a traditional sports logo which is super fun to see with these esports logos and yeah just like super super simple shapes and they have this really nice organic line creating kind of the body and then into the tail right here and that's really really nice and i like this little point that they have that represent kind of the feet um yeah the, the icon itself is really beautiful uh probably the the best looking icon for just the icon's sake uh, that I've looked at so far out of these new logos so I'm really really liking this and it's just it's a rooster like since when do you see a rooster with any kind of sports team affiliation it's just super cool and different and I really like that now the type you know, Paris is nice, just simple, sans serif, and then we have kind of this futuristic sci-fi 
style typeface for Eternal, which I'm okay with. Um, yeah, I think it goes. And again, I like the yellow here. Uh, it seems maybe it's just my eyes are playing tricks on me, but Paris seems off center or Eternal is off center. It seems maybe not. I don't know. It kind of looks like it from here. I can't really tell for sure. I'd have to measure it out. But it looks I'm a little suspicious. Eternal looks a little off center to me. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let's come down and check out the skins for this. Okay, cool. So, oh, okay, interesting. So there's this blue tossed in here. Wait a minute. Was there a blue in? No. There. Okay. This. So that gray that they used for the background. There's no way this is like the same blue that we have on the skins. Because this blue, I guess it could be actually. On the screen it looked a little bit more gray to me, but this could be the same color. Um, but yeah, the skins look really good. I like this color scheme. And you see what I mean? The icon looks really nice up against this white uh, background, or I guess it's more of like a really light gray tone. But it looks really, really nice up against uh, this background. I think it should always stay up against a lighter background. Um, and the icon just looks really nice. Okay, the type is definitely off-center because look how close it is to Doomfist versus Widowmaker. So the type is a little off-center there. I don't know if that was just kind of like a mistake. Uh, I'm sure it's not meant to be like that. But uh, I don't know. It looks a little bit weird. But yeah, so all in all, aside from the color issue with the background, as long as the color palette is used um, you know, with that in mind in the future, then I'm a really big fan of this one, the icon. Like I said, I think probably the most beautiful icon I've seen so far out of all of the new logos. Okay, so what do we have next? Let's see, we have the Toronto Defiant. Ooh, this one is pretty sexy. This one's looking really good. I really like... Okay, starting off with the color scheme, I guess, cause that's the pattern. Uh, black, white, and red. Super bold, love it. Uh, feels really nice here. And... Okay, now getting into the icon, again, they use these subtle little notches in the D, or, or T in the D, so T, D for Toronto Defiant, uh, and they have these little notches in the icon that just kind of give it like a little bit of a weathered look, you know, it, it's, it's been through some fights, this is the, the patch on the, on the rugged battle suit, and you know, it's been dirty and washed and taken a few hits, so you got a little ruggedness to it. It's not just super clean, straight edges. We got little nicks in here, and that's really nice. It's subtle, but really effective at conveying kind of that uh, that feeling of, like, you know, this is a, we're going to battle, you know, and so it's really perfect for this uh, setting. Now, I really like the icon. The T and the D, very clever. Although I would be kind of curious to see what it looked like if the T wasn't there and it was just this D icon. Um, I don't know. I think that would also look like really good. But maybe, you know, from a sports team perspective, having the T and the D in there to really represent Toronto Defiant is important. Uh, that could have been something that they talked about. Um... But I do think that, you know, if we were talking about just, like, logo beauty in its, like, purest sense, like, uh, aside from uh, the necessities of, like, the project or the client, then, you know, I think that the shape of the D is really, really beautiful, uh, reminiscent of, you know, some sort of science fiction futuristic, like, sigil or something. Uh, kind of giving me like some Skyrim vibes almost, like maybe some sort of Nordic. Or also kind of looks like something I'd see in like Destiny. So that sci-fi that sci thing again. 
I don't know. I really like just the simplicity of the uh, the D, and I don't know. I think it would look really good if it was just the D too. Um, things to consider. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But the, the the icon still looks really really good the way it is, and this type this type might be my favorite so far. Very very subtle changes to what looks like it was just some sort of base sans serif typeface that they've kind of altered here. So that's looking really really clean, really nice. I'm a very big fan of this whole lockup. Uh, everything's working well together. The colors are good. The icon's good, the type is really nice. I think this is up there. Definitely probably one of the top three for me right now. So let's go take a look at the skins for this one. Oh yeah, skins are looking really good on this. Again, that black and gray color scheme looks really great. I'm loving the, like the, the icon on the Zenyatta orbs around his neck, because they just look like, it's like this rune sigil shape so i think it goes with the theme of his skin really really well i like how they put his skin in there and yeah and it also works up against black so again has to be able to work in a multi colored universe can't always just have the same background color so i like how it is very interchangeable uh in that respect so really really solid here toronto defiant now let's move on to the Vancouver Titans. All right, this one right off the bat, the colors jump right out at you. Uh, a very bold color scheme like this is nice in sports because it's a very active uh, atmosphere. And so to portray that in the design work is really important. So you don't want any dull colors, you want things with lots of life to them, lots of action. And so I think that this color scheme, the blue and the green that they chose here, was really, really smart. Definitely conveys uh, all that drama that comes along with any type of sports or esports. So one thing that hits me right off the bat is uh, I've been talking about how I liked the simplicity of the logos and how they didn't do like a traditional outline. Uh, in the case of you know most uh, sports like in football or other sports you see it a lot this one utilizes that outline and so you can see what I'm talking about there's you see this outer layer of green that outlines the whole thing and then on top of that we have just this flat blue shape right and then on top of that blue shape they've added these details that are more like like they would be highlights on the face and those are all in green. So they have, you know, the forehead and the nose and cheeks area highlighted, the chin, and obviously the teeth. And so this looks very, very similar to what a traditional sports logo would look like. And even looking at this, you know, if I didn't know what the Overwatch League was, or if you didn't tell me that this was an esports team, I would be very. Uh, I would probably say, you know, oh, that looks like maybe it's a hockey team. It's Vancouver. It kind of has that that color scheme that would work well. And so this one's really interesting because it resembles what we're used to seeing in a sports industry. And I think that that's a good thing because that's what they're trying to push with the Overwatch League is this integration into a more mainstream fan base they're trying to push the content into a larger audience and get it on you know mainstream media and so it becomes a little easier for fans to adopt and, and resonate with if it is very similar to what they're seeing so I think it's a really smart idea to have the logo designs for these teams be you know it doesn't feel out of the ordinary it feels you know like this fits in a sports environment and so that's going to be really key for pulling in uh, new fans who may not have even heard of overwatch before but you know it's a vancouver team so the vancouver fans are willing to check it out because it's the hometown so that's really the whole point of the overwatch league so i think that this logo definitely represents that really really well the overall icon is really nice. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a Yeti or something, but it looks kind of like some sort of Yeti monster. Something's going on, and it looks really nice. 
he looks mean he looks you know like he's ready to to, to fight he's ready for battle um yeah and it, just the subtle detail again you can see guys these are very simple shapes logos are very simplistic and they've done a nice job of not adding too many points you could definitely shrink this down and you still won't lose uh, all those uh, those those angles and those little notches that they've put here and there to add that little bit of dimension and detail that they need to make this thing come alive so this is looking really nice the icon is awesome the type again really nice type on most of these teams I've been liking what I'm seeing and also a lot of them kind of have this similar theme of this really thick uh, stroked sans or uh, sans serif or serif and it's it's like a modern serif you know it feels very angular um, fits in with I guess more of the sports feel I don't even know if there's necessarily a word to describe this type of sans serif but uh, it looks really nice and with the subtle little uh, divots, notches that they have in the type, it almost makes it look kind of three-dimensional. It gives it some depth. It gives it this illusion of shadow in the background, which is really nice too. It comes off very clean, and I'm a really big fan of this. The whole color scheme, everything is working really well together. This is a really, really nice one. And the skins, again, looking really nice. These are very bright, vibrant. Definitely going to be able to tell which team you are, which is good. You want to stand out. Uh, yeah, everything is working really well together on this one. I'm a very big fan of this. And you can see how they've eliminated, against the white background, they've eliminated that green stroke. So you have just the, uh, you know, the blue shape in the background and then the highlighted green areas with the teeth and the eyes up front. And it looks really good in that scenario too. The green isn't too light, so it still looks good against a white background. Yeah, this one's really solid. Everything works really well together. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. This is gonna be tough to choose a top three. 